continue our severe weather coverage. We're still surveying some of that damage out there tonight. Our Justin Schreer's live in High Point with a look at the conditions off of South Main Street. Justin, what have you seen tonight? Hey, Brianna, good evening. We're seeing a lot of scenes like this behind me. We're talking about power lines down, damage and a lot of power outages. I was making dip. I was making Mexican food. Denisa McNeil was cooking dinner Thursday night inside her home near South Main Street in High Point when she heard this noise. A boom, boom, boom. That's what I heard. And then what, what, what happened after that? After that, everybody came outside and we started looking around the neighborhood and see, make sure everybody was OK. Part of a tree fell on our home while another part hit a power pole, taking with it power lines. I was just shocked. I was surprised because it hit the whole neighborhood. Just down the road, a similar sight as Fidel De Los Santos and his family assessed the damage to their home. I was just worried what happened to my family if they were OK, but from that we can fix that. The tree, no big deal. We can throw it away. In Guilford County, there were thousands of power outages as storms swept through the triad. But as folks continue to clean up, they're thankful the damage wasn't worse. Everybody been checking on each other and everybody's OK. And Kenny and Brianna, folks here say the good news is that there were no reported injuries on the Department of Public Safety's website. They're reporting about 5,000 outages throughout the triad. Live here in High Point tonight, Justin Schreer, WXII 12 News. Justin, thank you very much.